Dr. Auschlander was a New York doctor, although, the, as you know, St. Elsewhere takes place in Boston. But Auschlander's background was the Lower East Side of New York. He, uh, he was a Jewish man who worked his way up in the medical profession. His parents, his mother worked uh, in, a, in a garment factory sewing. His father used to move clothes through the 7th Avenue district, not as a salesman, but sort of just as a guy pushing a cart. But he worked his way up so he got to Harvard and became a prominent uh, physician who, in the case of St. Elsewhere, which took place in Boston, He was the administrator of the hospital, in a way, because he shared that with Ed Flanders or Dr. Westfall. Uh, Auschlander also had complications. Uh, he, he was a wonderful doctor, but he was an ag agnostic, and he only believed in medicine, and very often patients would contradict him by their religiosity, their belief in religion or something mystic and so on. So he was a fascinating character because he was an intellectual. And he also had married, as a Jew, he had married a, a wasp. Jane Wyatt played the part. And then there turns up in the storyline a woman who had been his mistress, played by Geraldine Fitzgerald, whom he had not married because she was not of the Jewish faith. She was Catholic. So all these conflicts begin to move in on him and uh, made him a fascinating character, which was best voiced in these superb scenes that were written by Tom Fontana and uh, John Macius and so on, uh, were written in duologues, particularly with Ed Flanders. Uh, very often, they were scenes of recollection. And uh, Auschlander, with almost the, not the urging, but with the sympathy of Westfall, would talk about his childhood, how his father, with no money, would scrape together whatever he had and get standing room at the Metropolitan Opera House. And he would see for the first time Auschlander opera and hear the music for the first time. And his father cultivated that in him. They would talk about that. And they would talk about the whole point of the philosophy of medicine and uh, what it meant to be a doctor. And very often, Ed would talk about, I remember very definitely a scene wearing his cap, looking at, he was talking about his father. And his disappointment at his frustration that he was encountering at running the hospital. And he also had this problem of his autistic child. And so we would, it would be very personal discussions, not so much with the technical aspect of running the hospital.